what we have been hearing is that uh, there were talks going on between the two parties and BJP was uh, asking the Akali Dal to contest the elections on BJP's symbol. So no, talks were definitely going on. Talks were definitely going on. And uh, in, in the talks, everything is discussed. Even the seats are discussed. But the primary thing is, you know, between the BJP and us is to have a common minimum program as we have in Punjab. In that common minimum program, our stand is that in the CAA, to the extent that the Sikhs are covered by it, we support it. To the extent that the Muslims are excluded from this, we cannot support that. Now, the BJP somehow felt that our support for Muslims might hurt them in Delhi. So probably they didn't want to go with us. We wanted to go with them along with our stand for support for Muslim inclusion in the CAA. Now, that became a stumbling block. Okay. Now, uh, some people are also saying the Congress has uh, issued a press release saying that if you were so against or if you just wanted to support your own stand on CAA, uh, why your own party member and leader, Harsimrat Kaur Badal, is still in the cabinet? And uh, if you were so, uh, if you just wanted to be uh, hold your ground on CAA, why you're not contesting elections there? See, let me clarify. We, we, didn't, uh, we didn't seek rejection of CAA. We were not opposed to CAA. We are in favor of CAA. We only want it amended. Now, if Mrs. Simrat Badal resigns from uh, uh, the cabinet, that means she opposes even the citizenship given to the Sikhs. Now, we are supporting the CAA to that extent. And we are saying that it should be extended. Her resignation would have meant that in order to save somebody else, you commit suicide. But that doesn't help the Muslims. I mean, we represent the Muslims in the, in the union uh, cabinet. We are the representatives of the minorities. And the minorities, the strongest minority in the country are the Muslims. So we are the only ones in the government asking for Muslim inclusion.